Hi there, hello, this is Yasuo, and today I don't really know what to talk about, so I decided to talk about my art class in high school. Um, I mentioned briefly in one of my previous episodes how in high school I, you know, didn't really have um, many people telling me that I should pursue art, so... I took as many art classes, <laughs> I'm sorry my cat's knocking stuff over, I took as many art classes as I could in high school thinking that, you know, at least I would get some kind of education there that I wanted. Um, and for the most part, I did. Um, I remember for the first three years, I believe, I took uh, drawing one and two, and then I decided to take art one, one and two. I don't think I ever went to advanced art the school was very it, it 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 told me I was a sophomore but then I it also told me I was a junior it told me I failed a grade but also it told me that nah I just I, I'm still going I don't know the the school that I went to wasn't that great um and that was the first high school I went to I went to all four years in that one and then I went to a school uh in another state you know further on and um or to finish my my senior year but anyways i'm going to talk about specifically one teacher we had two art teachers in my first high school and um they both taught like several levels of art classes i remember there was like there were a lot of art classes in my school but even though there were only two teachers and uh so it ranged from like drawing which was like pencil and paper to art which was like acrylic paints and then there was like portfolio art i think or something like that there was ap art and then there was pottery as well um and that that was that was basically it um but there there were like levels of that so there was like you know pottery one two art one two uh advanced uh ap whatever so, I remember specifically uh, my drawing classes were okay. They weren't. They weren't too terrible. The teacher um, was more focused in teaching us how to uh, not really draw from still life, but still like study perspective and um, different forms of drawing style. I guess like you know, not not necessarily cartoons or anything like that, but like different kinds of shading and this and that with pencil and paper um in art and i think this is where the majority of my friends and i had the same class if not the same teacher um in art we we had we had to paint we had to uh use uh, what is that called? Pastels? Yeah, pastels. We use pastels on like dark paper and stuff like that. And this one teacher, um, who did all of the, the, basically what I, what I would consider the creative art classes, this teacher, she was, we'll call her horse lady because I don't really want to call her out like in my other video. Um, I didn't call her out, but I didn't, I, I still don't want to call her out because I, I don't think it's fair to call out people um, specifically in, in videos. I don't want any shade. But um, if uh, if you go to my old high school, you know exactly why she's called Horse Lady. And to all my friends who might be watching this, um, you know who exactly who I'm talking about. But anyways, so Horse Lady, um, she herself was a pretty, pretty good artist, I guess. Um, she did show us some of her examples, some of her work from, I guess, college and like, you know, previously that week or whatever. And they were mostly just, you know, still lives and um, uh, figure drawings and, and you know, figure uh, just sketches and stuff that she took from like one of those uh, classes where you will have a new nude model and, and all that. Um, but she was, she was very, 
on one one day she would be totally like oh art is subjective it can be anything sure cartoons can be art anything can be art blah 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 and then like the next day she'll just be like no cartoons aren't art like drawings aren't art paintings figures like you know the 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 big guys like they knew how how to create art that's real art and so I grew up thinking like I had those you know a couple of years with her thinking like well shit like if if what I like to do isn't art then what is it like what am I gonna do like what what do I go to school for if what I'm doing right now drawing on this paper isn't considered art is it like I don't know like web design what the hell is it called then like cartooning it's not cartooning I, I I don't think so am I supposed to be a comic book artist like what what am I supposed to take away from this and you know like I I feel like if you if you don't if you yourself don't know like what the definition of art is then it's like uh, you know it's it's just really it was a really confusing time uh for my teenage years uh growing up with a teacher who would basically one day praise you for the portrait that you're drawing and then the next day completely just tear you down and and not not give you any proper uh i guess criticism with with your artwork and that's another thing with criticism in her art class it was very very i don't know it, it was very biased she was very uh she, she had her favorites obviously like there was the picasso of the class there was like the fucking da vinci of our class and then you know there were some really really talented ones in my class um which i they were my best friends and they did anime and stuff too but um because they had a better understanding of color theory and a better I guess upbringing when it comes to being creative and art um i'm not necessarily saying that they, they had a better life than i did because you know we're we're all different but um you know they had they had better better color theory they they knew how to use these materials better than i did so you know whereas my things were cartoonishly and and you know just looked like anime crap like there's there's were masterpieces basically to her because they were able to use the materials and what i wanted to learn was that how do how do i paint how do i like how do i think of colors and this and that and um you know it's still life sure you can learn from that but um i don't i don't know it's just for some reason like the way that she taught it was just not proper she was always she was always critical of anyone who wasn't like these other students you know what i mean um but yeah she i don't i don't want to say like she was a horrible teacher because i did learn some things in there but there were some things that she did that was kind of shitty like one time we were drawing some uh some eggs <laughs> that were on a piece of glass right and so i'm sitting like in the second row of the students because we were all circled around it and whatever and i'm sitting like almost in the second row i'm sitting behind one student and i'm drawing whatever and you know i draw what i see and she like <laughs> she got on my case because i did not add blue to the bottom of the egg i added white and i was like I i'm sorry i really i don't see any blue there like what blue are you talking about like i see like stark pure white because the egg is white and she went on and on about it and it's just, just like well maybe you should get some glasses or you're not gonna get a good grade sorry my cat meowed um yeah what <laughs> what do you mean if i need to get glasses in order to get a good grade do you have any idea how much glasses are and you know i i wasn't poor like my family wasn't poor but we weren't really that well off either so for you to sit there and tell a student of a public school 
to go get glasses because you're going to fail if you don't. That's kind of bullshit, don't you think? Like, what? What? And that's that's probably, like, one of the worst things that she's ever done to me. Um, aside from, like, you know, one day being totally supportive of the way I draw to the next day completely just blowing me off, you know? Um, yeah, that's... Like, she... The only thing I can ask for for a teacher is to be consistent, you know? Don't blow off your students if they want to try a certain style because honestly like what are, what are you even supposed to like if you're trying to teach them a specific style that's not really i don't know it's our classes are such a weird thing to me because you know you i think self-taught is better but also i think you should go to school so you can have the experience of trying other things and i don't know man <laughs> i don't know um but after that, I had uh, I had a teacher in my second high school, and um, she was like the complete like opposite of my teacher in my previous school. Like, she was the sweetest, most patient, most angelic. I I love her. I don't. I'm so sorry. I don't remember her name, but. She's the reason why I love uh, museums and going to museums and looking up references and stuff because she was one of those teachers who, you know, wanted her students to express themselves freely. Like, do whatever it is that you want, whatever style it is that you want. As long as you expressed yourself and you put it down in paper and showed the world, then that's all that she could ever ask for. And I thought that was like the kindest way to teach art in a way that it wasn't intrusive and forceful you know what I mean like with my previous teacher she had a very very strict idea of what she thought was art and she didn't really give us many options on like you know referencing or <laughs> looking up other stuff she the the second teacher i had actually took us to a field trip to a museum a, an art museum which is something that i don't think was even an option in my previous school like the 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 field trips that we ever had in my previous school were like super expensive so i i was never really able to go but for this one like my teacher was just like, yeah, whatever, like 20 bucks or something. Like, let's just go to the art museum for a day and, and we'll, we'll see, like, we'll just write about our experience there. And it was a blast. It was like the, the best time I ever had in an art class. <laughs> um, whereas this other teacher, like, she just, she just had so many classes and so many students, I think, that she just couldn't focus. Like, she just, she she wanted one, it was just one way or, or no way. And um, I can't really fault her for that. I think that was just a system fucking her over and, um, and, and indirectly fucking everybody else over, all the students over, because I feel like only a select handful of kids actually like learned something from her class and took something from her teachings. Um, and that was probably the AP classes because, you know, if those AP students like pass with flying colors, then you're considered a great teacher or something like that. I don't know. Anyways, I've been rambling for long enough. Um, this is something that I didn't really have scripted or anything or written down. I just kind of went with it and, uh, I hope that it didn't go on for too long. Um, I guess... Moral of the story, if you can take anything away from this, is that, um, you know, cut your teacher some slack. Um, just because they hate your artwork doesn't mean that they hate you. It's just that they have a specific thing in mind and unfortunately they can't teach it to everybody and they have too many students and um, if you're lucky enough to go to a school where you know, there are fewer students and you might luck out and have a great teacher like I did in my second school because the graduating class 
on my previous school was like a billion and this one was like a little itty bitty class but anyways um i'm gonna go i uh, will continue making these videos uh I can't really think of any more topics, but if I do, then I might make more voiceover videos. But who knows? Um, thank you for listening. If you want to follow me anywhere else, I'm on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all that stuff. All the links will be down below. And um, yeah, keep doing what you like to do. Don't forget, just pick up that pencil and do it. Don't let anybody stop you. Because the only person that's stopping you from drawing is yourself, like I say in every freaking video. But I want to put this in everybody's brain and ingrate it into your brain. Just do it. Just friggin' draw. <laughs> I'm a horrible person. Don't listen to me, bye.